We are going to test cations and anions today in this lab. The cations we are going to test in the lab are calcium ions Ca2+, ammonium ion NH4+, and iron Fe3+. We also test for an unknown solution along with it. The calcium ion reacts with the ammonium oxalate and give a white precipitate. So we add a known solution, calcium solution, 1 ml. And our unknown solution, I am taking unknown C to test whether calcium is present or not. To my unknown test tube, 1 ml. Then add 1 ml of ammonium oxalate solution. That gives a white precipitate if calcium is present. So both my test solution and unknown solution containing calcium ions. Next, I test for iron. For that, I use ferric chloride solution, 1 ml. Again, 1 ml of unknown solution. So iron react with the potassium thiocyanate and gives a red precipitate. My test solution contains iron, my unknown do not have iron. To test for ammonium ion, place 1 ml of ammonium chloride in a test tube. Place 1 ml of unknown C in the unknown test tube. Now add 5 drops of sodium hydroxide solution to each. Carefully waft the vapors from the test tube towards you. You may notice the order of ammonia. Now place a strip of moist in red litmus paper. with the deionized water and place them on top of the test tube and place the test tube in a warm water bath. The ammonia given off will turn red litmus paper blue. Next we test for anions. The anions we are going to test in this lab are chloride ion Cl minus, sulfate ion SO4 2 minus and carbonate ion CO3 2 minus. To test chloride ion, place 1 ml of sodium chloride solution in a test tube. And 1 ml of same unknown C, the unknown tube. And add 5 drops of silver nitrate solution.
the any white precipitate formed is silver chloride now we have to add 6 molar nitric acid 5 drops White precipitate remains after nitric acid added confirms the presence of chloride ion. Next we test for sulfate ion. Add 1 ml of sodium sulfate. The second set of tubes. of unknown we use the same unknown for all this set of test then add 1 ml of barium chloride solution So the test solution is positive for sulfate. Unknown do not have any sulfate. So this has to be further confirmed by adding nitric acid, 5 drops. The white precipitate should persist or remain. So after adding nitric acid, test solution still contains white precipitate that confirms the presence of sulfate ion. Next we test for carbonate ions. So add 1 ml of carbonate to the next set of test tubes. And the unknown solution 1 ml to the unknown test tube. Then add 5 drops of 3 molar hydrochloric acid to each sample. Then watch for a strong evolution of bubbles of CO2 gas as you add the HCl. The gas bubbles are formed quickly and may be overlooked. If gas bubbles were not observed, add another 5 more drops HCl as you watch the solution. So the evolution of gas bubbles indicates the presence of carbonate ion. My unknown. From these results, our unknown C tested positive for calcium ion and chloride ion. 